It doesn't matter how many times you try to explain to people that these aren't pets. A lot of people still think they're a pet. And um, they don't realize that these guys will be um, raised and uh, put in with other wild bats and then get dehumanized and then set free to pollinate all the trees. Now, you may think, well, if they're a wild animal, shouldn't they just be in a cage and just like ignored and not very much human interaction and that? Maybe, you know, I don't know how other wild animals are raised, but we are taught to raise our baby flying foxes as if they were a baby because they are with their mother 24-7. There's only one pup, and that pup is spoiled rotten. That mother loves that pup. pup. She, all she, her whole day is making that pup clean and happy and loved, and that's, that's all it is, the mother and this pup, mother and this pup. Now, we can't be with them 24-7, but we try to be with them as much as we can, that they know they're loved and they're secure and they're, you know, we need them to be outgoing animals because when they're in the wild, they need to be able to not be afraid of a, a noise, not be afraid if a, a tree creaks or the wind blows or they hear another animal, it's their survival. They need to to be self-assured. So that's why I try to get them that they're not afraid of other noises. Just It's kind of like if you have your own child. And um, I remember everyone saying, oh, when your child said me, have to be quiet, you can't make a noise. My friend wouldn't even flush her toilet. Now... Her child woke up if if a if there was a creek in the house. Mine you could vacuum through. So, you know, it's just and I'm not gonna say hers is the wrong way or the right way, or mine's the wrong way or the right way. It worked for me, it worked for her, so that's that's fine. But for these guys, we need to make sure that they are very um outgoing. Outgoing is probably the best. And it's always, that's why we always have two. At, you know, two, four, six, eight, however, but you always have to have twos because you want them to to have a friend when they go into crush, somebody that you could lean on. And you could have maybe Lily's a little less outgoing than James, but James will look after Lily when they go. So when she's scared or nervous, he'll be there to to um, look after her. He's more confident. He's more sure of himself. And, you know, I had him about a week and a half by myself with him before she came along. So he had my total undivided attention. And he's very, very sure of himself. He knows he's loved. She knows she's loved. And they have to get used to noises. They have to get used to things because they're going to go for a three-hour drive up to the Sunshine Coast. Now, if they're not used to cars now, when I put them into a car the day they go to crash, you don't think after being three months with me not going in a car that that's going to upset them? That's why I take them for a two-minute drive down to the park where they hear their own kind, where they see things that they're going to see in everyday life. They need to be aware of what is out there or it's going to be a very scary place for them when they go. And we don't want them to be more stressed because they always do lose weight when they go into crash because they've just lost their mom. So do you want them to be afraid on top of that? Do you want them to be afraid of every noise they hear, uh, that they see a tree and they're terrified because they've never seen a tree before? 
No, you have to let them have as many experiences as possible so they'll know, no, my mom took me to a park. I know what a tree is. I've heard that bird before. I've seen that thing drive. I know what these things are. I know I should stay away from them, but I know what they are. And that is what I'm trying to do with my babies. So you may not understand sometimes that sometimes what we do looks odd and weird, and that's why I'd rather have somebody ask me than not ask me. Because, you know, this is how we've been taught. We, you know, it's not like anything I've ever done before. And I've had dogs and cats and horses and, and chickens and other animals all my life. And this is different. This is totally different. So... You know, if you ever have any questions, please feel free to ask. I'd love to help you understand them more. So thank you. Have a lovely day. And um, take care. Bye-bye. Hey, sweet.